Right, hi guys and welcome back to another video on PlanSwift. Right, so for today's uh, video, we're going to be talking about how do you transfer measurements from one drawing to another drawing. So there may be some measurements which may be, may be the same, which you want to transfer, right? So you can do that via a copy and paste. Right, so let's go through the steps uh, you need to do to actually achieve that outcome. So first things first, we have two drawings here, uh, first floor layout plan and a second floor layout plan. Uh, as usual, uh, PlanSwift requires you to scale both first. So both my drawings have already been scaled. Right, so let's say for example, if you have uh, certain measurements already done. So let's say if I measure off this shape here, and for example, there's something else here that I measure, and I perhaps just measure this room, followed by this one, and maybe another one of these. Right, so once I have done all these things, I have a total of four measurements split over two items over here. Right, so what I'll do next is I will left click and I'll drag, cover the entire shape so that I have selected all. Okay, so uh, the prerequisite next is that both your drawings have to be scaled because you're transferring a measurement over. Right, if your second drawing does not have any scale, you will not be able to transfer any measurements over. Right, so what you do next, you right click on any of the measurements and then click on copy. Alright, so once you click on copy, jump over to your second page, right click anywhere. Okay, anywhere on the drawing will do and then click on paste. Right, they will ask you two questions. Right, do you want to paste the sections onto the same item or do you want to paste sections onto a new item? So they, be, they are basically asking you, do you want to transfer onto the same item as in the void and ceramic or do you want to have it on a new one that's under second floor? Right, so if you click under a new item, you click, it will be transferred as a completely uh, new item on the separate drawing. Of course, it will retain its name. Right, so once it's over here, to move them, all right, you will select all four again. Now, right click and you will see this button called move. Okay, so click on move. Okay, so once you click on move, you are able to just left click and drag any one of them. All right, so if, let's say for example, if I'm moving this um, void item, I can just move it, drag, let go. Right, the rest the same. If you want to move them one by one, you can also right click them and move them as you wish. Right, if they do not uh, correspond to the item, feel free to delete them away. Alright, so I hope this uh, short little video has helped you out with your measurements. Thank you. See you again.